Alhamdulillahi kathira Wallahu akbaru kabira Wa subhanallahi bukratan wa asila La ilaha illallahu yaf'alu ma yasha'u wa yahkumu ma yurid لا إله إلا الله الولي الحميد الله أكبر ما صام صائم وأفطر الله أكبر كل ما لا حسب حعيد وأسفر الله أكبر ما هلل المسلم وكبر الله أكبر 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 لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله الذي سهل لعباده طرق العبادة ويسر له الحمد على نعمه التي لا تعد ولا تحصى وله الفضل على إحسانه وحق له أن يشكر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أفضل من صلى وصام وتهجد وأجود وأجود من أنفق وتصدق صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد عباد الله فإن يومكم هذا يوم شريف فضله الله جل وعلا وشرفه وجعله عيدا سعيدا لأهل طاعته يفرح به المؤمنون لأن الله وفقهم لإكمال الصيام وأعانهم على العبادة والقيام وتلاوة القرآن في شهر رمضان قال تبارك وتعالى ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله ما على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون Dear brothers and sisters in Islam This day of ours is the day of Eid and it is a blessed day a day which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored and he has honored it he has made it a day of Eid a day of celebration a day in which we are to rejoice those who are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are the ones who rejoice on this day the true believers rejoice on this day because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it possible for them to complete the fasting of the month of Ramadan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aided them so they could worship him so they could pray to him and so that they could read the Quran throughout the month of Ramadan this is a month in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted us to complete fasting and he wanted for us at the end of this month to glorify him subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be grateful to him Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allahu Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar walillahi alhamd Ayyuhal muslimun ifrahu fi hadha al-yawm wa huqqa lakum an tafrahu wa rasulukum sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal lissaimi farhatan farhatun inda fitrih wa farhatun inda liqai rabbih Dear brothers and sisters, be joyful on this day. Rejoice on this day. And we have every right to rejoice and to be happy on this day. For the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that there are two occasions of joy for a fasting person. One, when he breaks his fast. And the other, when he meets his Lord. فَفَرَحُنَا الْيَوْمِ بِمَا وَفَّقَنَا اللَّهُ مِنْ إِكْمَالِ صِيَامِ الشَّهْرِ وَغَدًا نَفْرَحُ الْفَرَحَ الْأَكْبَرِ بِرِضَ الرَّحْمَنِ عِنْدَمَا نَدْخُلُ مِنْ بَابِ الرَّيَّانِ الَّذِي لَا يَدْخُلُهُ إِلَّا الصَّائِمُونَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Today we rejoice. We rejoice because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enabled us to complete an entire month of fasting. 
and tomorrow and by that I mean the day of judgment tomorrow is the day of great rejoice we rejoice because we will have earned the pleasure of the most merciful when we enter through the gate of Ar-Rayyan we enter paradise through the gate known as Ar-Rayyan that gate through which none other than those who used to fast will be allowed to enter نفرح عندما يقول الله تبارك وتعالى لأهل الجنة في الجنة يا أهل الجنة فيقولون لبيك ربنا وسعديك والخير كله في يديك فيقول هل رضيتم فيقولون وما لنا لا نرضى يا رب وما لنا لا نرضى يا رب وقد أعطيتنا ما لم تعط أحدا من خلقك فيقول ألا أعطيكم أفضل من ذلك فيقولون يا رب أي شيء أفضل من ذلك فيقول أحل عليكم رضواني فلا أسخط عليكم بعده أبدا we will rejoice on that day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls out to the people of paradise in paradise. He will say to them, O people of paradise, and they will say, We are at your service, our Lord. All goodness is in your hands. Allah will say, Are you satisfied? And they will say, Why should we not be satisfied when you have given us what you have not given to any other creation? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say shall I not give you something better than that and they will respond O oh our Lord what could possibly be better than that Allah Jalla wa ala will say I will bestow upon you my pleasure and I will never be displeased with you afterwards وَحُقَّ لَنَا أَن نَفْرَحْ قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِّمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ And why should we not rejoice? We have every right to rejoice. For Allah Jalla wa Ala says, Say, in the bounty of Allah and in, and in His mercy, in that let them rejoice. It is better than what they accumulate. عباد الله عشنا أياما معدودات وليالي مباركات صيام وقيام وتلاوة قرآن وبذل وإحسان وصلة رحم وبر وغفران وإطعام طعام وزكاة وحسن أدب وكلام وكلنا يطمع في رضا الرحمن أن نكون يوم القيامة من الذين أو مع الذين أنعم الله عليهم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا مع من هم في عيشة راضية في جنة عالية قطوفها دانية ويقال لهم كلوا واشربوا هنيئا بما أسلفتم في الأيام الخالية my dear brothers and sisters, we have lived through some amazing days, some blessed nights, an entire month filled with fasting and prayers and recitation of Qur'an, a month filled with spending for the sake of Allah and showing kindness and maintaining family ties, a month of forgiveness and feeding the poor and showing kindness towards everyone through our words and our actions. Every one of us has spent this month while longing, while hoping for the pleasure of the most merciful subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to be on the day of Qiyamah, on the day of judgment with those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed from the prophets and the true believers and the martyrs and the righteous and indeed their companionship is the best companionship. We want to be amongst those to whom it will be said, eat and drink in satisfaction for what you put forth in the days past. وَلَكِنْ أَيُّهَا الْأَحِبَّةِ كَيْفَ يَتَحَقَّقُ هَذَا الْفَرَحِ But the question is, how is it that we can, re we can realize this happiness and this rejoice? 
يتحقق هذا الفرح بتقوى الله جل وعلا تقوى الله هي التي جعلت ذلك الرجل الذي دعتهم رأة ذات منصب وجمال فقال إني أخاف الله رب العالمين فكانت الثمرة هي أن هذا الصنف من الناس من السبعة الذين يظلهم الله في ظله يوم لا ظل إلا ظله وهنا وقفة وقفة, وقفة مع من يذهب هنا وهناك وتعلمون ما أقصد بذلك هنا وقفة مع من يستخدم الأجهزة والقنوات فيما حرم رب الأرض والسماوات فإن الله لا تخفى عليه خافية فلنتق الله تبارك وتعالى The way that we can attain or we can realize this happiness and the true joy of Eid is through the true fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being God conscious by being aware that Allah Jalla wa Ala is over, ever watchful over us it is this taqwa this God consciousness that caused that man who is enticed and who is invited by a beautiful woman and a woman of high status he was invited to commit fornication or adultery with her but it is this taqwa which caused him to say indeed I fear Allah the Lord of the worlds and so what was the result what was the fruit of this response of his it is that anyone who behaves as he behaved will be amongst the, the that seven categories of people who will be granted a shade by Allah on that day when there will be no shade but that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides and here is a reminder a reminder to those who go here and there to the bars and the pubs and to the parties a reminder here to those who use their screens and, and those who use their devices for that which, is, which has been prohibited by the Lord of the worlds so then I remind myself and the rest of you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be conscious of him for indeed nothing is nothing is hidden from him taqwa Allah hiya allati mana'at tilka as-saghira an tamzaja al-laban bil ma' wa taqul in kana Umar la yarana fa inna rabb Umar yarana dars 'azim fi muraqabati Allah wa taqwa Allah li kulli man arada jannata Allah wa li man khafa maqam rabbihi jannatan it is this taqwa this fear of Allah this god consciousness that caused that little girl to not dilute the milk with water and she said to her mother if Umar does not see us then indeed the Lord of Umar does see us what a great lesson what a great lesson in God consciousness in taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all those who desire the paradise of Allah Allah jalla wa ala tells us what means but for he who has feared the position of his Lord are two gardens يتحقق ذلك الفرح لمن سلك أبواب الخير الموصلة إلى الجنة والمحققة للفرح والسرور في الدنيا والآخرة من عمل صالحا من ذكر, من ذكر وأنثى وهو مؤمن من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فَلَنُحْيِيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبَةً وَلَنَجَزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ We will attain that joy and that happiness if we are amongst those who strive to do everything good those who strive to do righteousness which is the gateway which is the way to attain true happiness in this world as well as the hereafter Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what means whoever does righteousness whether male or female while he is a believer we will surely cause him to live a good life and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do Ibadallah al-mu'minu sadiq 
لا يشبع من خير حتى يكون منتهاه الفردوس الأعلى من الجنة Dear brothers and sisters the true believer is never completely satisfied of doing righteousness until they reach the final end until they reach the final goal which is the highest levels in paradise ينتقل من عمل إلى عمل ومن خير إلى خير والله تبارك وتعالى مطلع على ذلك وما تفعل من خير فإن الله به عليم The true believer moves from one good deed to another all the while being aware that Allah Jalla wa'ala is watching over them and whatever you do of good indeed Allah is knowing of it Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd Ayyuhal abdu saimu fi Ramadan Wal qaimu fi attahajjud wa attarawih Wal mukthiru min tilawati al-Quran Wal mutasaddiq wa mut'imu al-ta'am Anta mutalabun bi fi'li al-khayrati wa attazawud minha وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى O you who fasted during the month of Ramadan You who stood during the night prayers You who engaged in the recitation of Quran in abundance O you who gave in charity and fed the poor Know that what is required of you is to work righteousness and to Take for yourself a provision for the hereafter For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says And take provisions For indeed the pre best provision Is fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ayyuhal ahibbatu fillah Alayna an nukthira min at-ta'at Alayna an nakhtara minha ma nasha Wa nadhkur huna ba'da hadhihi at-ta'at Minha qada'u hawaij al-muslimin ومنها ما تقدم للمسلمين من بر وإحسان وعون في مدينتك ولجميع المسلمين في كل مكان بما تستطيع ويكون ويكون لك المغفرة والرضوان وتسكن الجنان في روح وريحان فعن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لقد رأيت رجلا يتقلب في الجنة في شجرة قطعها من من ظهر طريق كانت تؤذي الناس قطعها لأنها كانت تؤذي المسلمين فكيف بمن يؤذي المسلمين والمسلمات وينتهك أعراضهم وينشر الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن إن الذين يحبون أن تشيع الفاحشة في الذين آمنوا لهم عذاب أليم في الدنيا والآخرة والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون Dear brothers and sisters, it is important for us to try and do good in any way we can and let me mention just a few things from those good things that we can do amongst them is to try and fulfill to try and fulfill the needs of other Muslims amongst those things is for us to do good for the Muslims in our community and elsewhere for us to lend a helping hand to Muslims wherever we can do so so that our reward can be forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can attain his pleasure so that we can live in paradise and remember that hadith in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said I have seen a man enjoying himself in paradise due to a tree in the road he cut down that used to harm people imagine he got paradise because he chopped down a tree that was in the way of the Muslims that was harming and inconveniencing the Muslims so what about what about those who harm Muslims what about those who inconvenience Muslims and who attack their honor and who try to spread immorality amongst the Muslims Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what means indeed those who like that immorality should be spread or publicized amongst those who have believed they will have a painful punishment in this world and the hereafter and Allah knows and you do not know
ومن ومن تلك الأعمال الإحسان حتى مع الحيوان فإنه يكسب المغفرة والرضوان وكلنا يعلم عن تلك البغية التي دخلت الجنة في كلب يعني لأنها سقت كلبا عطشان كما نعلم أن امرأة دخلت النار في هرة كانت تحبسها فماتت and from those deeds that we have to keep in mind is that we have to show kindness even towards animals for all of us knows of that incident that the Prophet ﷺ informed us of whereby a woman that is a prostitute enter, entered paradise because of a dog because she gave a dog water to drink and she felt compassion towards it and we also know of that woman who entered the hellfire because of a cat because of a cat that she didn't allow to go out and fend for itself and she never even fed it or gave it water and so it died Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd Ya ibad Allah Inna a'mal al-birri kathira wa hiya darajatun wa maqamat a'laha tawheed Allah jalla wa ala wa ikhlas al-ibadati lah wa adnaha imatatu al-adha an al-tariq إماطة الأذى عن الطريق لا تنسوا هذا حينما تروا الزبالة على الأرض فلا تمشوا إلا وقد وقد أخذتم هذه الزبالة ووضعتها في مكانها المناسب أيها الأحبة في الله أدناها إماطة الأذى عن الطريق ولا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا وَلَوْ أَنْ تَلْقَ أَخَاقَ بِوَجْهٍ طَلْقَ Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, the, the, the ways of doing good or the many deeds which are considered to be deeds of righteousness are many but they are of different levels as well. The highest of those is for us to single Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out in worship and to be sincere towards Him. And the lowest level, if you will, of righteousness is for us to remove harmful things from the way. And here let me remind you, removing harmful things from the way includes picking up garbage that we see around us. So afterwards, when you see garbage on the ground, don't walk by it, except that you have picked it up and put it where it belongs. And do not disregard any good deed or do not regard any good deed as insignificant. For indeed, even meeting your fellow Muslim with a cheerful face is considered to be a good deed. Ibadallah, ittaqullaha rabbakum, wa sallu khamsakum, wa sumu shahrakum, wa addu zakat amwalikum, tadukhulu jannat rabbikum. O believers, fear your Lord. Establish the five daily prayers, fast the month of Ramadan, Pay your zakah and you will enter the paradise of your Lord. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Ibad Allah. Iltamisu al-ajra fi eedukum bi eedikum bi idhkhali al-sururi ala anfusikum wa ahlikum wa ikhwanikum wa muslimin. Iltamisu al-ajra fi silati al-arham. والصدقة على الفقراء والتوسعة على العيال وإشاعة الفرح وإدخال السرور على على قلب كل مسلم ومسلمة العيد يوم التزاور والتسامح والعفو يوم التراحم والعطف يوم النفوس الكريمة تتناسى أضغانها وتتصافى من أحقادها تتقارب القلوب وتتصافح الأيدي وتعلو الأرواح وتسمو My dear brothers and sisters in Islam Take the opportunity on this Eid to bring happiness to yourselves and your families and to your fellow Muslims Strive to earn rewards on this Eid by maintaining ties with your families 
by giving in charity to the poor and the needy, by being generous towards your families. Earn rewards on this Eid by spreading happiness amongst the people and making sure that every Muslim that you come across feels happy and feels joy. This Eid is a day on which we are to visit one another. It is a day on which we are to forgive one another and overlook one another's faults. This Eid is a day on which we show mercy towards one another and we show compassion towards one another. It is a day, it is a day for the righteous souls. It is a day for us to forget our grudges. It is a day for us to forget about the hatred that exists between us. It is a day for the hearts to come close to one another. It is a day when we shake one another's hands and we reconcile our differences. Barakallahu lakum fi eidikum wa makkana lakum deenakum alladhi irtadahu lakum. Allahumma a'izza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Warham hawzat al-Deen. Wahmi hawzat al-Deen. Wansur ibadaka al-Mujahideen fi sa'ir bilad al-Muslimin. ربنا ربنا نسألك أن تبارك لنا في عيدنا وأن تتقبل طاعاتنا وأن تعيننا على دوام طاعتك وأن تتقبل ذلك منا إنك جواد كريم وصل اللهم وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وكل عام وأنتم بخير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته